Welcome to Arguing Art. On this episode, we're introducing a new series on categories of art, and we're going to kick it off with creative art. I'm Adam Sterner, and this is Michael Luke. Kick it off. Kick it off. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Arguing Art on Creative Art in our series, Categories of Art. Um, creative Art, well, okay, basically what we're going to do is we're going to cover the three different types of art that gets uh, created. And this is not like genres, this has to do with uh, types of art within art philosophy. So there's Creative Art, uh, Interpretive Art, and Collaborative Art, and then Creative Art is... Creative Art is an original production by a single artist. So the artist comes up with the original concept, mm -hmm. produces the work by himself or herself, and creates the piece. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, there's really not much more to it than that. Uh, I mean, if you need to think about it more, consider it like a sole proprietorship of a piece. Oh, that's a perfect example. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, this isn't to say that they're not influenced by other people or, you know, whatever. Uh, but it, the important thing is it's a single artist came up with this thing. Yep. The important this thing, original thing is that he acted alone. Mm. The man walks alone. <laughs> so if you are... Or the woman. Or, or the, the woman. woman. Or the woman. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so if you're tuning in here uh, on YouTube or Blip TV or iTunes, come on over to arguingart.com. Uh, that's where the real meat of the conversation is, and you can more easily keep our mm -hmm. conversations in one place and connect with other people in the art community. Yeah, and that's the easiest way for us to hear from you guys and for us to get back to you right away, too. So come on over, check it out, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>